Welcome back. After a year in hiatus because of the coronavirus pandemic, the CAF Air Show is back. Channel 5's Cassandra Garcia has all the details. Good afternoon, Dina. I'm sitting in an extra 300 airplane that'll be in the air show this weekend. Now, this air show is definitely a flight you don't want to miss. It's a jam packed with performances that'll leave you with a piece of history and make your heart soar. I've been announcing this air show for over 20 years, and this is probably the best and most exciting air show I can remember. This year's CAF air show brings together old and new to share the lessons of history. The show focuses on three different areas. World War II military. We do reenactments of famous air battles such as Tora, Tora, Tora. That's the attack on Pearl Harbor with pyrotechnics and all that kind of stuff. We have a B-25 bomber. We have two P-51 Mustangs. Um, we have trainers. Aerobatic performances like Aeroshell doing a four-ship formation routine. And finally, modern military. That big warthog with those big jet engines on it does some amazing things. And we've got pyrotechnics or bombs going off for him as well. So each one of them has excitement, and a little bit different, but e exciting. And it all leads up to the final performance, the Heritage Flight, where one old and one modern military plane fly side by side. And they do passes. And we recall the history of the Air Force and how important it is to where we are in this country today and where we hope to continue to be. To people like Air Show Chairman David Houston, the show is a lesson on freedom. We have had to pay for our freedom generation after generation. And our show showcases that. It demonstrates to people just what it takes to be free. And for Air Show announcer Ray Norton, who was born during World War II, this air show holds a special place in his heart. And my father, had, was exempt from service in the military because he was working building airplanes. He worked in, for North American Aviation and they built P-51 Mustangs and B-25 bombers. There will be a free preview of the show on South Padre Island tonight at around 6 o'clock. The show can best be viewed from the entertainment district on the west coast of the island. But the real show will be happening here on Saturday and Sunday. Admission is $20 for ages 13 and up and gates open at 10 a.m. In Port Isabel, Cassandra Garcia, Channel 5 News at noon.